Hey, I'm the one new newbie. It's time for more Record Keeper. Today, it's that time of the month, we have Crystal Tower. A real Crystal Tower, not like Defend the Aspers Crystal Crystal Tower, which was weird and silly. And easy. Um Yeah, this is uh similar to your standard crystal well, it is just your standard crystal tower of three fights and then one souped up fight. All of which we've seen before. Uh, all of which or three of which are from much later Final Fantasies. Whatever. I I'm waffling. Um in my testing, I found this one to actually be pretty easy, but we'll see how that goes down. Yeah, Atlas really just demands that you have a magic team and an M Blink. And even if you don't have the M Blink, you can actually get by pretty well just eating the things. Either way. First up, we have Death Guys, who, uh, if you remember correctly, it doesn't care about your defense. It's all piercing or percentile attacks or set damage attacks. Uh, so Dr. Mog is actually useless in this fight. Uh, pure DPS race here, and weak to lightning. So I think what it actually turns out is this isn't maybe so much an easy crystal tower. It is just I have really good teams for this crystal tower. I think that's what it is. But we'll see. Because I'll admit uncomplicated maybe is a way to put it. Um I'll admit I think I might have gotten lucky once or twice during the testing, but each attempt during testing, though Atlas did end a little rocky, um, were one shots. I'm alright. We're just about to start our tower climb. Never played Final Fantasy Rocket Keeper, what's it like? Well, it's. Well, I'll preface it with this. It is 100% one of those gotcha games. It is, you are going to get a currency, or you can pay money to do draws for items. Now, that said, it's not characters. Characters are free, to an extent, uh, they come in events, and 
will generally repeat themselves, and you can get items to get characters as well down the line. Uh, this stream will actually give you a good idea of what fights are like, because I'm actually going to be doing some pretty endgame content to fights. Uh, the things that you do the gotcha for are weapons, which you know will empower you in various fights, but also uh, if you get the super rare ones, unlock these, like the special abilities for people to use. They're limit breaks, more or less. Combat is sort of ATV-ish. Uh, the main grinding of the game comes from, uh... Ooh, getting a little close there. Uh, the main grinding of the game comes from abilities. They, uh... You, you grind up orbs to craft abilities. To do stuff. Now, for these allow you to do things such as, uh, up there I just use... Uh, a move on lightning that just pretty much makes her go fast and deal more damage, especially with lightning moves. And every time she uses a lightning move, she goes fast the next turn, so she can keep chaining lightning moves into lightning moves. The boss here is particularly weak to lightning, so that is the, the strategy that we used. Yes, that is the thing. There was a period of time where uh, your relics and your, your soul breaks, which are what your, the limit breaks are called, uh, were the end-all be-all. Um, but they, the company was nice and decided that that was not a bad, a good model for keeping people around uh, and made abilities much stronger very recently. Move. For instance, other than uh, dollar draws, which are just fun to do on stream, uh, I'm fairly free to play. I've never dropped for like a whole banner's worth of pool and stuff like that. Oh, that is the one thing. Don't pull on the new. The, don't pull on the beginner banner. It's actually a big trap. This is actually the perfect event to hop in on because you're not going to see any repeating characters. The whole gimmick of Crystal Tower is to use um, a different different characters in every fight. I really didn't talk about the fight too much there, but for me, Death Gaze isn't too hard. Again, you just need to focus on your breaks and everything, and lightning damage, uh, and have a way to heal to that uh, 3k damage that he deals across the party. Oh, and don't put any in the back row. Do not put anybody in the back row because of that death cast, unless you have a runic or something like that. I got excited talking about the game and for uh forgot that I was supposed to be informative. Yes, uh, I'm using an emulator called Blue Stacks. Ah, boats. Uh, so I'll give a, a brief breakdown of uh, stuff for you, Kefka, real fast. Um, as stated before, uh, characters you don't have to... Well, I'm, I'm 
doing Android, but it, there is an iPhone version too. Uh, you can do, like, if you just have a smart device, you can play the game. It runs on almost everything. So, like, currently, right now, we got a Type 0 event going, and, like, look at all the characters you could get right now if you just started up the game. And that's not even counting, like, if you hopped into the Realm Dungeons, which are, like, the if I had to call it that, this is the story dungeons, but they're not really story dungeons. Uh, in fact, actually, Japan is getting real-ass story dungeons pretty soon. Or, Japan has gotten them. We'll be getting them in, like, three months. So, like... You start up, you get some generic. You, you get, like, a black mage and a white mage. But then you get, like, Cloud, Kane, Waka, Rydia, Shantoto, Cyan. Like, you get some pretty people. Um, but that's just getting people. And that's it. Uh, so, we talked about relics. This is the, where the gotcha system comes in. Uh, mithril are your, is your currency. You get uh, usually one for clearing a dungeon and one to two daily. Like, you get one every day and then two every three days. Um, and banners come with events. They're themed around certain characters, so like this one's Ace, Queen, and uh, Nine from Type Zero. And if you were to spend 50 Mithril on this, you get 11 relics, where one of them is one of the five stars or higher on the banner, usually. There is like a small percentile chance that you pull something that's not on the banner, but usually you get a banner item. And just to go into this real quickly, uh, and I'll use it's a good example to understand. Ah, here we go. Uh, so Judgment Blade from from Queen. So so the weapon is the Flame Bird. Flame Bird. Uh, if you get it and use it enough on Queen, well, if you have it equipped on Queen, but if you use it enough, she masters. Divine Judgment Blade, which is an attack that does a bunch of hits, uh, increases her attack and defense, and causes Spell Blades to cast very quickly. And Spell Blade is just a school of ability. Uh, and that's what, like, Bursts are, or Breaks are. Breaks just do things that are really cool. Or sometimes they just do a lot of damage. I mean, I play on a fucking... Um, Motorola Turbo, and I've been playing on this. Like I've been using the same phone for two years. I think a pic I think people actually say that the Pixel's really good for this game. Um, if you do start up, these are the newbie banners. Do not pull on these; they're really fucking bad. These are extraordinarily bad banners. Um, they will stick around forever, and they're bad. Um, I guess one other thing to talk about real fast. Uh, so I talked about abilities. So like, the main way that you do damage is with abilities. And they do stuff like, you know, Chain Blazaga is attack with ice magic four times. Um, and you know, there's a bunch of stuff like that. There's that, there's summons, which are AOE versions. What makes them bad? Uh, their pool is every relic, uh, every five-star relic from that realm from the beginning of the game. And old stuff, like, this isn't one of those games where old stuff gets updated. Old stuff can still be good, but a lot of old stuff is extremely outdated. But yeah, so th these are relics, relics... Do th er, uh, these are abilities. Abilities do things. This is how you do damage. Uh, you're quickly, well not maybe quickly, but eventually, uh, if you're playing the game, your basic melee attack is going to suck. Um, but like, 
So like a good example is your basic melee does one damage. It does 1.0 damage uh, based off like a, a calculation. Engulf and Quad Strike here deals like 4.5 damage over the course of four attacks. And it's water based, so it's elemental and it hits weaknesses. Like, that's the difference between a normal attack and abilities. It's pretty simple, but I can't stress enough that abilities are so good. Um, there's other things like various schools, like support here. Support holds the breakdown abilities, which are stat reducers. Very, very good stuff. Um, White Magic has things like Protega and Shelga. Extremely useful because just double your defense and resistance. I bring them on almost every party, as well as, you know, cure. Uh, but, to stress what we were talking about before about orbs, uh, abilities require orbs. Orbs are what you farm. And every time you hone an ability, it gets two more uses because you, you have a limited number of uses. That's how you, you get mileage. Yeah, there's a lot of guys, guys, guides on like Reddit and stuff like that that can help you through the early game. Uh, the real basic is you want to focus on getting characters, getting levels. Don't like any resources I should keep handy as I would progress along the path. Hmm. Hold on to... Okay, so here's one other thing. You'll get these down the line. I don't really use them as much anymore because I, like, have everything. But they're, they're Souls of the Hero, Memory Crystal Load, and Memory Crystal 2 Loads. Now, I said that you can only get a character through events. Somewhat false, because you'll, you'll sometimes get these things called, you know, Souls of a Hero. And what they let you do is they just let you pick and choose a character. Um, whoop. Hold up. Sorry about that, necessary evil. Um, oh, what was I saying? Alright, so, so Souls of a Hero just let you choose a character. You, you know, you got that list of like any character in the game. And the reason I say hold on to these is because every now and then you will need like you might pull a relic for a character you don't have, and you don't know when you're going to get that character, right? So it's like, say I had to... I, I got something for pain, right? But I don't have pain. So I could use a soul of a hero to get pain. And it, that's basically it. And if you have any other questions, go ahead. But that's like the basic stuff I can think of off the top of my head. This right here is Nightmare Magicite. You're not going to have to worry about that for a while. Do not worry about that. Um, I guess the big basic thing for when you start up is you super want to work through the realm dungeons because that's how you make your stamina higher and each time you clear one of these you're going to get a mithril and 50 mithril is a pool and there are like hundreds of dungeons in here now. Oh fuck, I never finished this. I gotta, I gotta finish this up. I gotta get my other point of stamina. Anyway, let's hop back into Crystal Tower with Venusgar from FF12. Uh, you'll remember Venusgar's whole gimmick and the real thing that made it super annoying was it had a Sloga AoE and could confuse people. On top of that, it sword danced when it got low on health, which dealt pretty considerable damage. Uh, that's about it. Uh, it did also petrify, but mostly people in the front row, or only people in the front row. So, running a back row party kind of negated that threat, and he's weak to dark, so really what they were saying here is, we kind of want you to run a dark magic team. 
thankfully, uh, dark magic is one of my strongest categories. And yes, here's the gimmick I was talking about, because I used these guys in the first fight. Uh, they're locked out. I can't use them anymore. Um, now. Uh, you may notice some familiars aren't in this team if you've been keeping up with how I run Dark Magic. That's because I will be running Dark Magic for Atlas. But, for now, this team will get the job done. I didn't get it. I didn't screenshot properly. Um, I guess the only last thing I want to mention, Kefka, uh, <laughs> for people in the video, somebody popped into the chat named Kefka40, because they keep saying Kefka over and over again. Uh, somebody popped into the chat named Kefka40, who has never seen Record Keeper before, but is interested in the game. Um, that is why I've been going over all like, semi tutorial stuff. Um, Sorry, brain fart. Um, one other thing that I would want to emphasize more than anything else is do not stress about completing everything. I mean, sure, completing everything gets you really nice rewards and will help you move along and move forward, but um, a new player isn't going to complete everything. Uh, wasn't Sword Dance 2500 fixed? I can't remember, honestly. Um, and yeah, Rocket Keeper generally has a pretty good community. Um, Reddit is, the, the Reddit for Rocket Keeper may be one of the best gaming Reddits. I'm not even kidding, like, there's not a lot of toxicity. There's a little bit, it, it crops up every now and then, but most people will be like, eh, calm down. Oh yeah. Also, do not die for a single relic. It's a got like that is the one thing that you have to have to remember. It is a gotcha game. Do not die for one item. Like that is the path to sadness. Uh, always only plan on doing like a 50 pool, maybe. And a 50 pool is dropping 50 mythwork. Doing an 11 pool. Maybe do two, but don't dive super hard because that's how you get like. Oh yeah, I have like. 20 copies of the same sword, and that's because, you know, that happens. And Record Keeper doesn't really, you don't benefit too much from getting duplicates. There are benefits in getting duplicates, but it's not super beneficial. Uh, you, you're better off spreading out your, your draws, even early on. Alright, but time for a fight. No, this is using the remix music. I hope it doesn't have that audio glitch that we had during this event. A little bit of thinking here. Uh, Iris doesn't actually add too, too much to this team. Legit, the reason that Iris is on this team is um, for the Haste Aga. Yeah. A lot of Record Keeper is learning to make use of what you pull. Um, which is kind of what Crystal Tower is great for. Uh, because Crystal Tower's whole, like, four team limit gimmick. Oh, fuck, yeah. That might be a restart. Eh, well, let's see what happens. I didn't really have too much trouble with this fight.
Um, Crystal Tower is all about like making like four different teams, so having that gimmick in there is actually pretty cool. God, and yeah, remembering that I brought Enkidu here, but Enkidu doesn't heal slow. It's the only thing that he doesn't heal. Or stop. I don't think he fixes stop either. There it is. Yes. Good. Why is this song fucked up? Only happens for this song. I got tagged with the confuse, so you know, white win that away. In the process, cure <laughs> cure excess blindness, so it's a win-win. All right, next turn he can burst, so that'll fix that problem. Venuscar is oddly not aggressive for an apocalypse fight. It just kind of chills there. Just like, yeah, I'll get to it eventually. Okay, but we can now begin the festivities. I finished I finished charging my beams. Yeah, I think that's like 100% true. That that is probably one of the big, big reasons that the community is so good for this game is because there's no competitiveness. Like, everybody's nice to everyone because otherwise they're not going to clear fights. Now that my, my mages are finished channeling and they're ready to deploy their spells. As long as that fucking doesn't... Ah, damn it! Fucking of course, right? Oh boy, that is fixed damage, isn't it? Mm. We'll be fine. Luckily, my team's strong.
knock some sense into X Death. Stop it. Get some help. I'm just a little, like, we went a little slow there because, well, we got to slow, we got to confuse. I am worried about hitting the timer on, uh, wall. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Alright. Both majors should have another break charged. Of course. Rude, rude boy. Oh, well, okay. X Death doesn't because X Death got confused. Vane, please tell me you have a break charge. Oh, thank Christ. Of course, the fucking RNG boy. Oh yeah, because whoop, wall's gone. Thankfully, Vane's still an honorary good boy. Oh boy, that was a bit rougher than it had any right being. See, I recently learned that I have an obscenely good fire team. Um, so Ultima's biggest thing is, like, literally the biggest, most threatening thing is it uses Flare Star at 50% and hits your entire party for, like, 4k damage. Uh, can be mitigated a little bit with fire resist accessories, but that's about it. You're not going to get much more than that. You can reduce it to about 3k. Uh, other than that, not much to it. Uh, weak to fire, has a couple of nasty attacks. Um, I'm going to be honest. This is just a fight of, he is threatening until uh, my DPS grind up to one bar, and then he explodes. Yeah, that too. People that tell me, ah, breaks are useless in all content. Yeah. Are they? <laughs> Hold up. Get a proper cut in there. Oh, 
I am Ultima, the true honk boy. So the real problem here is there's a chance that before I get any magic mitigation up other than wall, he can catch flare. <laughs> and that uh that flare cast can be real fucking nasty. Hey, speak of the devil. Eh, yeah, we're fine. Yep, those are going to be the two hardest hits that we take, other than Flare Star, of course. Because as soon as Iku gets another turn, she is going to use BSB and Full Party Heal. Watch the difference in damage here. That's what breaks do. Don't ignore breaks, kids. Now we've seen this team work against a Magicite, but what if? Something bigger than a Magicite. Now, emphasize again. Uh, fire resist. Works on Flare Star. Flare Star is actually typed um, fire. So, keep that in mind. Not too bad. Not too bad with proper resistances on. Also, whoops, I left uh, Rasmo in the back row because, again, I just converted my Magicite team. What a good team! Kafka, they're uh, still in the chat. Um, the lower floors of Crystal Tower are pretty much copy and paste uh, event bosses. Wait, one, okay, only two. Uh, so they're all apocalypse level. Um, No, it's fine. It was just one of those, like, explaining something. Yeah, forget it. You're fine. You're fine. Don't worry. So, these three bottom fights were all copy and pasted from the respective events that we just recently-ish. Yeah, excuse me. Sorry, I'm having a bit of a throat and stomach problem. Kind of like burp, but it's not coming up. Anyway, so the bottom three here were copy and pasted. They're all... 220 difficulty that is sort of directly correlated to the level of the boss that you're fighting. Atlas up here 
is an Armageddon boss, which I believe uh, in the dived like the data stuff is a 250 level boss and isn't a derived well this one more so than the past ones have been but usually the armageddon bosses are not direct copy and paste they are usually buffed in one way or another uh atlas here is actually pretty copy and pasted just bigger stats but like a better example is a uh, diamond weapon from a couple weeks ago couple months ago, um, had shorter DPS checks, uh, Adele, from way back when, I think October, um, had, no, no, November, had way, way higher stats, and, uh, could pierce while draining from Renoa. Um, so this is more or less our sort of standard... Uh, dark team. I, I subbed out Rasmo for Riku, uh, who is also using a uh, attack mag 30 booster. Uh, just a real nice, good move on her. Uh, Krill's giving her a 30% uh, magic, and Sid and the bot will buff themselves respectively. Also, yeah, Diamond Weapon had its weakness to Lightning Remove. So, wait, that is actually it. That's Atlas, Atlas's big change. His Ice Weakness was removed and turned into a Resistance. Uh, so, no longer has a weakness, but... Re hold up. Um, voice problem. Um, no longer has a weakness and is immune to Lightning, Wind, Resistant to Fire, and Ice. So, you need one of these elements do any sort of damage to him at all. Uh, I have a very good dark magic team and selection, so I went with that. Not to mention that two of my dark magic mages come from 13, so they get that nice synergy. Uh, still has that gimmick of crushing grasp, which will cast a white, a white-based dispel on your party. So keep that in mind. And uh, for reference, uh, the reason I emphasize white-based dispel is because um, there are such things known as, known colloquially as ultimate dispel, which actually remove uh, stat boosts and things like that. Uh, for instance, Riku's thing I said did an attack magic boost. It would remove that. However, uh, a white dispel only removes things like Shelga, Protectga, and Hastaga. That's still pretty important, though, because, remember, uh, Shelga and Protectia double your defenses. Though, if you're running a back row team like me, Protectia is a little bit less of an issue. I get that feeling sometimes too. I'm only 30, almost 31, but looking back at those NES days, technology has come a long way in 30 years. Okay.
Redo. She should be doing uh, debuffs first. Uh-oh. Emulator. There we go. No, it's fine. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. It's all right. I mess up way more than that for dumber reasons. Right. So yes, uh, Riku, we want to debuff first. Uh, because our mages aren't going to be able to maximize on that um, that mag attack buff for a little bit. So we're gonna we're gonna hold off on that. Uh, we're using krills obviously uh, immediately because it is a Hastaga. The first crushing grasp is front row, so. Do not need to worry about that. So the nice thing is because both of my DPS come from BSBs instead of USBs. Um, though Crushing Grasp will probably remove their Hastaga and I won't be able to refresh it, um, they will get a Hastaga from the BSBs. And then mattering on, you know, how nice uh, Reigns is with that. Uh, Double casts. We'll see how good our DPS is. Um, a big thing of note here is I didn't bring Protectica, but I brought two sources of Shelga. And the reason for that is so that I can, if and when I get dispelled, I can immediately get that Shelga back up because I won't have to rely on only. Uh, Ovelia getting a turn. Speaking of which, she'll get a turn. Maybe she's not going to get a turn before that. Well, we'll find out. Won't we? Yeah, I think I'm gonna eat a full force. Uh, roar, which might actually kill Ovelia. Uh oh. Now these are the problems that we deal with. Griffin Fist. Yeah, and that's the nice thing, is that this Atlas is actually even more scripted than his original version was, because the original version actually lost attacks as the fight went on. Uh, it was, the original version was two punches, crushing grasp, chain strike, roar. Uh, and then it lost a punch at one percentage and lost the other punch at another percentage so that in the last 40% its rotation was Crushing Grass, Chain Strike, Roar. Uh, which made timing a M Blink way harder because you had a one enemy turn window to hit that M Blink. Now, for reference, I have brought Ovelia to this fight 
uh, because the super that I have on her, aside from being a very nice Medica, is an emblem. If I can get that off, I'll either evade a Crushing Grasp, or more than likely, I'll evade a Roar, which is not nothing. Roar deals pretty decent damage, all things considered. Right, so that was the punch there. Uh, we will hold Krill at this point. I think we want to execute it now. Yep, there's Grasp. There goes all of our buffs. And there's Snowbind. Pretty perfect execution there. Now, the other nice thing and why we want to get Reigns off ASAP, aside from the fact that he, uh, does the good damage is because Reigns' BSB, if you recall, gives a very nice defensive buff. So, that will help with physical attacks that we did not bring Protect Go for. Now, finally, after many turns of sitting around and doing nothing, we're ready to DPS. Now, again, this isn't going to block a Crushing Grasp. I don't think I ever will. But this will dodge the second Roar, which is still fairly useful, all things considered. Or third Roar, I guess. And we'll take this chance to slam down a shield using Riku's instant cast. Once the uh, the two mages are fully operational, the fight will not last much longer. Because they are in realm, they are getting ridiculous boosts, and uh, Nabot does put a nice debuff on the boss. There's that good stuff. Now we're gonna get hit by Crushing Grasp in a moment here. But, with proper timing, I can actually get Hastaga and Shelga back up. which helps a little bit. Uh, Roar is still going to hurt, and this is honestly when people are going to start falling. This is not a perfect team. Not by a long shot. Um, that's what I think you use for your companion and mine. Rain's getting fucking stunned out of his instant cast.
Now, if worst comes to worst, um, Krill and Reigns are pretty self-sufficient with their moves of Dire Heal and uh, Dranga. They can stay alive pretty long, uh, but it is tricky. I did that too early. Damn. I thought I had lost track of moves. I could have sworn Roar was next. Oh well. Again, we should be in a pretty good place. I mean, all things considered, this helps us dodge the Roar. That's not nothing. Should do it. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. That went way better than my test run. <laughs> A fucking Atlas strategy where you just eat every crushing grass. Fuck it. Who cares? Just eat them. It's not the boss of you. Ah, look at that. I love that screen. This is probably like one of my favorite screens in all of Record Keeper. Just a very nice, like, yeah, you did it. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Let me go obtain moats. Look at that good shit. I got like two days to do this still. I just need... Fucking Monster Hunter World came out. That's the big thing. It's like... Oh, in the time it could take me to sit down and do a Magicite, I can instead just go hunt a monster. Alright. Let's talk banners. Um... So, uh, there are some really early relics in the nine banner. I, I wish you could sort this by like date of release, <laughs> but uh, there are some stinker of supers down there. Pretty much anything for Amaranth isn't fantastic. Uh, but, again, these are realm banners, and you're not going to get a better version of a just realm banner unless it's like the third anniversary, uh, where they're very good realm banners. Um, but these are still pretty good, uh, the, the 9 one at least. On the other hand... 12 had some extremely early super relics. 
like real early super relics. Uh, they're still pretty good. In fact, I use a couple of them in uh, event fights. But it also has things like the Durndal. I think that's, no, Snowblade. Snowblade Sword. Um, which you can hoot and holler all you want about that. Drake, it's really mediocre. I found. Um, really, the fact that these aren't BSB or higher... Like, BSV or higher make them instant pools for most people. Uh, the fact that they can contain supers makes them way where all the shit something's about to fall off my desk. Uh, make them way more, more mediocre. Just because there's some really junky supers out there. Um, that said, again, this is for Realm Synergy. Do you want 12 Synergy? Yes, no? This is a banner to pull on. Do you want 9 Synergy? However, I have some gems to spare. Let's see what newbie get. Nothing, that's what. Pool 2, Electric Boogaloo. Also nothing. <laughs> it's like a 10% chance. Um... Oh, Zeus Maze for Pinello. For 100 gem. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, Pinello's BSB is pretty decent. Um, the only downside I would give her BSB, like, the only, like, kind of negative I would knock against it, is the fact that it is a lesser version of Yunos. Still, aside from that, it's, uh, pretty strong, and yeah, as the person points out, with the update to Holy, it has a better use nowadays. Uh, it's just that downside of, like, it's a 15%, I believe, mag, mind buff, whereas Yuna's is a 30-30. Yo. Let's try and solve the riddle of Isgabind real fast. Let's, uh, let's take a shot at that, huh? Paralyze is the thing that scares me here. I think that means I gotta put Unicorn as my Magisite. Only. Mm. I don't have any other fire boosters, right? Those it's just that one sword. Yeah, it's just that sword. Yes, Fufa, that hit right there, that hit to attack. It's only thirty. It's the factor that her USB isn't ranged. And if Isgabon is up in the air, it's just a non-factor. I think we put the, the Chakram on her for now. Uh, we have to put a sword on him. Uh, he 
we, we will not have a ranged weapon for him because I'm going to put the Chakram on Barks. Because definitely needs to be able to hit with that spell blade. Um, otherwise, I think everybody else is fine. Uh, at least for this first attempt. Uh, I'm going to swap, swap her to Kiraja. I think I think the boss hits long range no matter what, so like back row, long front row doesn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, let's do this damn thing. I think Isgabide is the one that I had the best chance against. Which I hate. I hate that that's how this is going down. Uh, hoofa, uh, I just noticed something. And let's try this without Unicorn. If... You know, let's try this without Unicorn. Let's put, um... Let's put Ultra Cure on Daniil. If it becomes an issue, uh, we... Instead, bring Unicorn. Because Unicorn will be extra healing, too. Like, not it's not a huge factor, but... That extra healing from Unicorn does help. I've, ever since I started using Unicorn for Fenrir, I got way more consistent on Fenrir. Note, that was me. Not you. Do not adjust your, your computer. He gets very fast in weak phase. I think I got instant heal, right? <sighs> Here goes something. I've really just gotten to the point where I just kind of, I want to clear a four star at this point. I want to start leveling four star Magicite because hot diggity damn, they're really powerful. You may say risky. I say calculated. Oh boy. Mm, this isn't gonna hit, but 
as we do. Oh boy. Huh? Yeah? That's why we brought Ultra Cure, right? I kind of, I just want to see damage, you know. Like, let's see what kind of chance I even have here. Oh, I did do Tourist and Traveler. Fucking hell. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. The uh, the wall has worn off at this point. I might recover if I get a double cast here. Yeah. All right. Okay. Barts is just going slightly faster. I always, always remember that, that Barts just goes a little faster.
Other than that one savage, the damage here really isn't too bad. It's kind of crazy, actually. Yeah, Savage is like the only really scary move outside of the one that, you know, fucking paralyzes you. Oh, that's right! It's your truth! Defense boost! Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Thought it through. I'm a smart boy. Alright, so missing one third of my damage, when you consider that. This. Is actually doable. Oh, this is when he goes fast. Yeah, the Paralyze was super unlucky. Um... I guess that's just what it will come down to, is like, I guess I gotta take the risk of that Paralyze, if I want to clear. Especially because both ice paralyzed, ice and paralyzed resist. Hmm. I'll look into that after this run. I can get better execution at the beginning here. It's life siphon, life siphon, wall, shout, protect. Possibly. Uh, suggestion from chat of uh, if this doesn't work, try swapping out Mom Bomb for Unicorn. Rude.
<laughs> oh fuck, god damn it. Work too fast. Fuck yeah! chain. the savage breath every time I, I, I like my heart stops there were so many eight strikes I got so fucking lucky Ha! <laughs> the move!
I'm glad that the game didn't punish me for wanting the right banner image to be up there. Hell yeah! Fuck yeah! There's a better, a better thing to end the stream on, really. Like, I wasn't planning on beating that. <laughs> actually captured that on a video, but yeah, the fucking visual effect. Hey, I, okay, to be honest, you said, did it faster than you, fucking, how many double casts and, like, eight strikes did I get? That shit was stupid. Like, I, that was pretty optimal, that run. Yeah, Isgabine is just like that drop down move that he does. And, uh. Yo! Yo! Look at that. Look at that. I got a duel? Where did I get a duel Han from? Oh, did I just get these from that? Huh. Yeah, okay, that must have been from that fight. Stash you in the vault. And, uh... Hold on to you. You can be fused into something. Let's fuse you in. Ooh. Hmm. What do you do? Magic boon? It's only gonna be a one, but it's better than nothing, I guess. I don't know. The one star stuff is like whatever. But I could fuse you into Isgabind. Like. Then again, magic is more my thing, so I guess I would fuse you into Dual Han. Oh wait, I can't do that at all. Either one of those. Because they have to be level very high to be fusible. I'll take it. Fuck! I can't believe I finally did it. Finally cleared a fucking four star. Feels real good.
So for reference, uh, as far as Magicite Inheritance goes, um, it's going to take a lot of doing, like just days of sitting in EXP dungeon pretty much, but um, I have been hoarding up for this a little bit uh, to show. Vault, Magicite, 55. Like, change that from gain newest to element fire. Like, a couple of liquid flames, Salam salamanders are pretty good. Uh, three Wendigos, Taharkas, Sea Lions, uh, Hydras. Now I'll, I'll be able to give something a pretty good resist lightning. I can get a uh, an attack empowered on something. We got Fenrir's pretty ready to go. Uh, Bottom Swell, pretty ready to go. Look, that's fair. Magicite are hell to do, but I cannot pass up that for you five mithril for doing Magicites. Fuck. Yeah, I, uh, I was expecting that to go a little bit more. I wasn't expecting to clear on fucking second attempt. But apparently it's a damn good team. If I can pull some fire plus gear, a little bit more fire plus gear, uh, that could be way more consistent. Uh, if I can get some fire plus throne or range stuff. Like I I need I need a thrown weapon for Bart's. Uh Rafa can kinda go without a, a ranged weapon. Try another. I, I'm not nearly up to snuff for any of the other ones. That's the main problem. Like uh again, I'm floored that I could clear Oh, if unless you mean like another uh, yeah fuck it, let's go. Let's do another one of his goodbye. I do need one more for the uh, the monthly, so. Yeah, consistency will be a thing to see because again, I uh, I got lucky with those multi hits. But let's go. Also, HP. I should have died real bad. No, it's a thing to do. Uh, no, because I do actually still use that near the end when everybody's out of abilities. And yeah, that's another thing. Uh, might look into honing up the abilities that I was using a bit more. I need the life siphons to get everybody up to speed, but um, could definitely have some better moves on people. Going with the frost breath right off the bat, huh? I didn't realize that was random. Vanille's making up for it though. She's like, don't worry, boss, I got discovered.
Fuck! He's fast! Every time. Savage Ice Breath is going to come, but I'll have an instant cast from uh, History's Truth. So I might be able to save it. We'll see. This is, this is a consistency check right here. Also, that defense boost will help. Yeah, pretty low. But we'll see. Apparently, that's how consistent I am. I can just always hit those fucking double quads and then eight strikes. How's that for consistency? Uh-oh. Razzle no. Okay, we're good. We have an instant cast. Oh, I am a look haver through and through. And I say as I hit the third in a row. What up? Ah, fuck, that was the wrong person. I lost a bit of DPS there. I thought that was Vanille. That's why I did that. Is that weird? Does that not happen every time? High score, is that good? But this, this might actually go south for me. It's seriously every time it lands, that is the riskiest part. We're good. Welcome to the Vanille team. Oh, like, I know I got that instant cast. Like, every fucking time.
God. The Savage is so rude. Down goes Vanille. Fuck him. It's not consistent. It's doable, it's not consistent. I am running some extreme risk plays, uh, only having one healer. Well, I got the full set. <laughs> is, is, the thing is, uh, both times I got a lot of uh, double casts with an eight hit on the end. That is an obscene amount of damage. Oh no. Oh no, they're back. <laughs> well, uh, the one thing that will help it be more consistent, honestly, is I might just slap him up right now and do it. Um, is the fact that we just got Crystal. Oh no, he's dampened air! Piss! What? <sighs> I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes more sense than having the dampen on them, but... Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, no, no, the dampen air is great, and I think that caps out. Yeah, at ten, a ten percent reduction. At level fifty, it is the same. Let me find one that I actually have maxed out. Yeah, at level fifty, it is the same as a three star. Ten percent re reduction is real for Team At. Kind of. Remember, one of Team At's rudest things is the fact that it has a fire wind attack that you can't reduce with just wind resistance. Uh, can the resistance is stacked? Yes. In 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 the same way that the other ones stack. So, uh, for those who aren't aware, if you equip an empowered ice ten and empowered ice eight on the same person, you would get the 10 from Wendigo, and then from the 8, you would get that divided in half. So you would get 4. It would work the same way with resistances. If I equipped two sea lions, again, bad example. Uh, if I equipped, here we go. If I equipped two level 1 crystals, I would get 4, and then 2 from the second one. So maxed out, you would get 10 and 5. If you have two maxed out crystals. Crystal. Crystal? Crystal. Um. Yeah, fucking. That's a great damn thing to end a stream on. Pretty much, uh, two of a thing is good. Um, two of uh, effect is good.
when you hit three, you get some real diminishing returns. Uh, that's like super min maxing. Like some people say, like you want to have t three empowers and three attack boosters, and that that's that's how you get the most damage. Which they're not wrong. That is pretty good. Um, but yeah, min maxing to that point is a bit too extreme. I'm gonna do a sign off. I'm gonna do a sign off after I get these banners and things adjusted. Hold up, CT zero three. Yeah, Fan Mirror and Ixion is a pretty good idea because physical blank. Also, the Earth Magicites, except for Shell Dragon, which is an imperil, aren't really too useful. Like, Golem really sucks. Alright, time to do a sign off. Alright, so that's it for January's Crystal Tower. January? Not even right. Yeah, no, 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 wait. No, fuck, I was right, January. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. Um, next month is actually going to be really rough because I believe Shinryu, the one that we had just yesterday, uh, returns as the top of the tower. And the jump start is any hint. It's not going to be fun at all. But until then, I'll see you next time.